something happening in my ear. sound a little bit uh, uncaring because <laughs> that's what I just said it's about not caring it's just for the moment it's just for the time being and maybe it's something you need to test to see how you feel about taking a break from caring and being concerned about something that's going on in your life which may concern someone important in your life. its engine outside your front door it would probably be a bit worse if you're trying to sleep but you know what I mean I say that as the train is in the distance it's evening here I do have the windows open only slightly open just to let the air in. 
it's not that I'm worried about running out of air. It's just, it's nice to have the, the fresh air coming in and out of the, my home. It's nice to take a break from thinking about that as well. So whatever it is that's on your mind right now, take a break from caring about that. And if there's a person involved, then just take a break from caring about that person. So just step back from those thoughts. Step back from that person and if something else comes into your mind, maybe replacing that old thing that you've taken a break from and couldn't care about anymore. Something else comes along, maybe you can do the same thing. Take a break from that. Step back from caring about that thing or anybody involved in that thing. This is just for the duration of feeling tired. And the more you do this, the easier you find yourself naturally drifting asleep. The same way when you lay down on your bed, your head touches a pillow, your body gets heavy, relaxed, and your mind starts to slow down. And any thoughts that are there, you just take a break, you stop caring about them. stop caring about anybody that may be involved in those thoughts. And the more you stop caring, the easier you find it is to continue to stop caring about new thoughts and maybe worries or problems or ideas or anything like that that comes into your mind you can just say don't care you can talk like a little baby like a little child don't care so your mind may be saying oh we got to be up at 7.30 in the morning don't care oh, I've got this thing I've got to do got to don't care this, I really like this person, don't care. And all the stuff that comes into your mind, some of it is so trivial and pointless, like what you had for breakfast in the morning, don't care. Just say don't care to everything. 
obviously if you need to go to the toilet then go to the toilet but anything else that isn't relevant don't care just like a little child little disobedient child don't care you can add some other words if you want not interested not interested and if you were trying to get someone's attention and they kept saying to you not interested eventually you just give up trying to tell that person whatever it is you're trying to tell them Don't care. Not interested. You can even add, not my problem. say that in the past when they've given up on something they don't want to know anymore they've had enough and they're just leaving leaving the leaving the business leaving the, the job or for the weekend they're like not my problem but we've run out of biscuits not my problem but my chair is squeaking not interested but the light bulb needs changing don't care not my problem not my problem as you get into the habit of saying anything arises any thoughts not interested and that's regardless whether or not it's interesting just say not interested don't care not my problem you could be more forceful Just say, I'm sleeping. I like the idea of actually putting up a sign in your mind which says, Do not disturb. I'm sleeping.
disturb. I'm sleeping.